Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Well, hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. I hope your day is going well. I hope your week's going well. Isn't this a marvelous psalm? We've been studying this week, Psalm 48, and today we're looking at verses 9 and 10 in Psalm 48, and 9 and 10 come to us after the Selah. Now, we know that a Selah is meant to either make a pause in the music of a song or perhaps just a pause for us to think about what we have just read, sung, or said. And here we have the Selah, and you'll notice that some meditation is invoked by the Selah because after we've said the Selah, you'll see in verse 9 we have these words. We have thought of thy loving kindness, O God, in the midst of thy temple. Now, have you thought about the loving kindness of God after that Selah? Isn't this a wonderful thing to think about, though? And why all of a sudden are we thinking about the loving kindness of God? Because in the city of the great God, in the city of the great king, what are we doing? We're praising him. We're experiencing his holiness, his joy. We're experiencing his protection because he's a refuge for us there. We're celebrating the great king who's there. We're celebrating the fact that the arrogant kings of the earth have been destroyed and the church has been established there. All of this happens because of the loving kindness of God. We have thought of thy loving kindness, O God, in the midst of thy temple. Oh, there's another thing here, too, is where is this being sung? This song and psalm for the sons of Korah is being sung in the temple. So in the midst of thy temple, this is meant to lead us into praise and to think about the loving kindness of God. He's so good to the church. And it's in the midst of his temple, which, of course, is in the great city, the city of the Lord of hosts, the city of our God. Of course, there would be a temple there, a place of worship. And, of course, for the church, we are the temple of the living God. And so in the midst of the church, the loving kindness of God is being thought on, meditated on, because he's been so good to us. His loving kindness and mercy, his long suffering and forbearance, his faithfulness towards us is so good that it's just the subject of our thinking. That's what we think about. Then we have verse 10, according to thy name, O God, so is thy praise unto the ends of the earth. Well, now we've been thinking about the loving kindness of God and the place of worship, and now we're going to have some praise. And what's this praise going to be like? It's going to be like his name, and his name we know is great because he is the God of heaven and earth. He's king of all the earth. He's dwelling in the city of our God, in Mount Zion, the city of the Lord of hosts. And he's seated upon his great and glorious throne. And so his praise is just like that. It is it is overwhelming. It's marvelous. It's wonderful. It's just like his name. According to his name, so is his praise to the ends of the earth. Thy right hand is full of righteousness. Now, this is something else that we're praising, not only his loving kindness, but we're also praising his righteousness. And what else would be in his hand? God's hand is filled with all kinds of things. It's not empty. But here we're told that his righteousness is being praised, which is juxtaposed with the loving kindness. So the righteousness comes with the loving kindness, and they're both being extolled here by the singing of the church praise unto the ends of the earth thy right hand is full of righteousness now tomorrow we're going to look at verses 11 through 14 kind of a big bite actually but we're going to take it all together tomorrow because i think these verses work really well together and we will see tomorrow about the uh, the doctrines of the faith and why they're so important well i hope you'll join me then here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.